Hi, good afternoon. So it is the second week of Advent, which is uh, Advent is the time, the four weeks leading up to Christmas, before Christmas. And so we're in our second week of Advent. And while I was at church, I was looking at the nativity scene, which is on the front lawn of the church. And then on the inside of church, just before walking into the sanctuary, there's another nativity scene. So the nativity scene is a scene that includes everybody who is there for Jesus's birth, right? So you've got Mary and Joseph, you've got baby Jesus, you have uh, the, the wise men, the shepherds, sometimes there's an angel, sometimes there's a star. Um, here at home, I have this piece of olive wood that was cut and it looks like Mary and Joseph. And, um, it's a beautiful piece. I like to leave that one out all the time. But when I was looking at our nativity scene, I was thinking about us. I was thinking about um, how we might get closer to God in this, Lent, in this Advent season. Um, I was thinking about my childhood and a ritual that we had. Um, so when I was a girl, we used to go to church on Christmas Eve, we would go to a five o'clock service and we would go home and eat supper and then we would pack up and get our coats on and we would go back to church for an 11 o'clock service. And on our way back uh, to church in the evening, we would pass by another church that had a nativity scene outside. And um, this nativity scene was really special. Um, my sister and I had never really seen anything quite like it it lit up. So we thought that was really fancy. And we asked our mother if we could stop and see the nativity scene. So she stopped the car and we got out and we traipsed up the front lawn of the church. And then we sang to baby Jesus. It was very exciting. Um, it was in fact so exciting that we turned it into a tradition. So year after year, my sister, my mother, and I would get out of the car on our way back to church, and we would go stand right in front of uh, the nativity scene, and we would sing. We would sing, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And so the thing about our tradition was that for us, it was our way of, of feeling closer with God, feeling closer to baby Jesus, even for that little amount of time. And it's kind of funny now when I think about it. But I invite all of you, I invite all of you, if you are with your family driving by the church and you see the nativity scene outside, you are welcome to come sing Silent Night or Away in a Manger or We Wish You a Merry Christmas to baby Jesus out on the front lawn and it brings you a little bit closer. And so I invite you also to look around your lives to see where there are ways that you can get a little bit closer to God's love. Maybe you give a gift to someone who isn't expecting it. Maybe you collect food for someone who is hungry. Maybe you call a relative who is lonely. Maybe you call someone you don't know that well who might be lonely to say hello and to let them know you care. There are so many ways that we can get closer to God. So I hope that you will look around and find a way to do that this Advent. Will you say a prayer with me? Dear God, help us to find ways of getting closer to you. We pray it in Christ's name, amen.